you knew it was coming, and here it is, Ford officially pulled the covers off its EcoSport subcompact SUV today ahead of the LA Auto Show. The timing could hardly be better. According to Ford, there were about 70,000 subcompact utes sold in 2011, which makes the 276,000 sold in 2015 a fourfold increase. And by 2020, the Blue Oval expects 2015's total to double. Considering the Ford EcoSport is the best-selling compact SUV outside the United States, the automaker seems likely to become a segment leader in short order. The Ford EcoSport is nothing if not cute. The automaker's well-worn and angular fascia leads the way, followed by a steeply raked windshield. Upright sides and muscular wheel arches lead the eyes to a prominent C-pillar. Faux skid plates front and rear join lower body side cladding to lend a modestly appropriate off-road look. Not that anyone will ever actually take an EcoSport very far off the beaten path, of course. Four trim levels will be available, starting with S, moving to SE, SES, and finally Titanium. Pricing has not yet been announced. Inside, the EcoSport can look mature or extroverted, with the SES model getting copper trim and seat accents. An 8-inch screen floats above the center stack and features Sync 3, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, all of which can send tunes through an optional 10-speaker, 675-watt B&O Play audio system from Harman. Power comes from either a 1.0-liter turbocharged EcoBoost 3-cylinder for front-wheel drive models or a 2.0-liter 4-cylinder for buyers who opt for 4-wheel drive. Horsepower and fuel efficiency aren't yet available, but both engines will be paired with a 6-speed automatic transmission when the EcoSport goes on sale in early 2018. If you want to see the new EcoSport in person, you're in luck. Assuming you live near Hollywood, that is. Register here for tickets to Ford's Go Small, Live Big Experience, which runs on for two nights starting on Tuesday, November 15th. There'll be plenty of live music and snap catting, along with lots of local food vendors, and, um, tiny houses. And even a bunch of tiny rescue animals, hedgehogs, dash and exercise equipment.